what do we have here? It's a beautiful Mosin the gun with a bayonet on it that I can stab you in. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you for coming back. Why not? It's a lot of difference. 762 by 39. 762 by 54 R. Hell of a difference. That goes out of this beautiful, I want to call it beautiful, but California made it not beautiful. AK-47. Thank you, Precise Armory. And this beautiful bolt action Mosin the gun. Shoots a 762x54R. Thank you, Glendale Gun Depot. Hey, these two companies, it's not about what they have and what price they have. Obviously, the prices they have, I don't, I don't think you can find them anywhere in LA. That's first of all. Go check them out. Both of them, Glendale and Precise, uh, Glendale Gun Depot and Precise Armory. Prices, quality aside, but when you walk in there, if you start talking to any of these guys, Joe at Precise Armory, Mike, Eric, Boris at um, Glendale Gun Depot, you'll be there for hours. You'll enjoy talking to them, friendly, knowledgeable. I'm not gonna continue going. You go check them out, you'll find out. So these two companies have my back always. And um, obviously this is not a fair comparison. Oh, we already know this guy does way better than this. They're sisters, brothers, cousins, whatever you wanna, you wanna call them. But we're gonna compare them. Let's go. The first question you're gonna have on this target, why? I don't know. We have glo <laughs> gloves. <laughs> this typical gloves that mechanics, you, oh, good thing that I opened it up because I, I know where to shoot. There's so much gap in here. These gloves. You, you know already. And it's plastic basically. Or all of them, like we opened this up, used it, it's like that, or yeah, you have to shoot in the middle. Good thing to know. I'm not gonna use the GoPro for this one because nothing is gonna happen in that slow motion cam. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Each of ten them, hundred. Each of them, there's hundred, but they're like not stacked right next to each other. They just, they're, they're in there. That's our first target. Let's shoot them and let's find out how many it's gonna take to stop those uh, beautiful calibers. Uh, first thing we're gonna start with, it's gonna be the 762x54R, which is this bad boy right here. It is 174 grain, eyes and ears. I'm ready. I just got ready. I actually was born ready, but you know. Hey, Stacy, watch. I don't have a GoPro, you'll be my GoPro. I'm gonna try to shoot it in the middle. It went through everything. Or I missed. It went through all, I think. <laughs> Let's see what happened. Shot it a little bit to the lower side. It couldn't have gone through uh, the table. So one, two. Three, four, five, six. <laughs> on table or it's here? No, it went through this one as well. Yeah. Oh, see. Table. Or okay, the let's air. do this. Let's put them like that. Oh, so oh. yeah, it's going through cardboard basically. So let's stack them right there, so we know every single part of these gloves are on the bottom. I'm choosing the worst targets possible. I don't know why, but it's hard to find out ideas about targets and I don't want to shoot like those tactical gels and stuff like that just because it's not fun and I'm trying to have fun here and maybe if I have fun here you'll have fun on the video as well. So let's shoot on the bottom, let's see what happens. Again 762x54R, there we go, locked and loaded. Shoot to the bottom. Again, I think it came out. <laughs> God damn. 
Oh, there's a bunch of plastic flying around. They curved off, come from this side. So pretty much hit right here. Again, one, two, three, four. Oh, they're stuck together. Yeah, it's pushing everything. So we know gloves are not good at stopping bullets. Still going. Hit right here. Came out and it didn't kind of this is cardboard basically. So they're gone. <laughs> now let's shoot it with the 762 by uh, 762 by 39. And let's see what that AK-47 does. And I know you love that weapon, so I'm Are not you? gonna dare shoot it. I'll let you shoot it. And you're gonna have aim somewhere around here. And uh, there's gonna be a lot of good working gloves in here. Mm -hmm. Keep on using. I'm gonna let Kaboom guy number two shoot it. What do you have there? AK-47, my favorite gun. California compliant, his favorite gun. Let me try to turn this around. Oh, that was a beautiful move. I'm telling you. <laughs> try to shoot it on the bottom part. Alright. I'm ready when you are. That thing is loaded. Ready? I'm ready. Ooh, good shot, good shot, good shot. And nothing came up from the other side, so we actually stopped something. <laughs> The weapon is obviously clear. That was our first shot uh, from 762x54R and that was another 54R and this is 762x39. It's going. It's still going. I think it's not, not going, going anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so one, two, three, four. I don't feel any bullets here. It's a little bit hot. And then here, do I feel something in here? <laughs> uh, let's let's move on to this one as well. I think it's. Uh, I don't think it's, it's still going. going. I don't think it's going. So it's somewhere between these guys, and I feel the warmness in here. So maybe it's going. Maybe, maybe it curved off. off. But I don't feel any. Heart this stuff. is new. Uh, that was there. What oh, damn? What I'm gonna do with this Oppo? Someone could use this somewhere in this world, but he's not gonna be able, or she's not gonna be able to use them because I shot him. <laughs> hey, do me a favor. Comment below, like, what kind of uh, target should I use for these comparisons? Because uh, we're not going anywhere with this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's clean up. Bring the second target. That might be better. You were just saying your shape of woods are changing. <laughs> I'm getting to the last, uh, last uh, four by four, six by fours, two by fours that I have. This guy, what is this? Six by six or eight by six? Six by six, I think. It's the six inches. It looks like six so by if six. If you tell this a four by four, that's a six by six. So 6 inches, 10 inch, 14, 16 inch of wood. We're gonna shoot him. We'll find out what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and again start with the 762 by 54R. This guy. It is, I don't know if I told 64, you already, 174 grade. 74. Let's go around and do some kabooms, eyes and ears. You have no eye protection, I see that. You should get your eye protection. Let's put it inside this beauty. That sounded beautiful, let's put it inside. <laughs> you know what I mean. All right, we're gonna do point blank. A uh, little bit, not point blank, but right there. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. We're not gonna look at it. We're gonna grab the 762 by 39. You know what, this time, let me shoot it. Why not? You, you always shot my AK-47. You shouldn't do this, but I'm doing it. I did it, don't do it. It's not good for your rifle. Right there. 
fire! Kaboom! Kaboom! And boom! I was gonna grab the bolt, <laughs> but there is no bolt. Weapon is clear. Did he go through this big boy right here? Oh my goodness. Come here. Come here. 760 by 54 R. 760 by 34 R. 760 by 54 R. It went down. Did it go through the table or you actually stopped? It did. This is new. So you went through the table. 760 by 39. Still going? Tried to come out. It did not. It did not. No. Oh man. That's not much of a difference. That's the jacket of the 762x54R. But it curved kind of. Let's hold on. Okay. It hit right here, kind of curved to the downside. Then it hit the concrete. So if you exit it here, it should not fit somewhere over here. I don't see any bullets. Man, um, not much of a difference. See, this thing tried to come out, but I know it curved off, but I don't think it would have come out. You want to shoot it? You want me to shoot it again one more time? Let's shoot it again Let's one more see, time. Yeah. 762 by 54R. Let's put it this way so it's fresh. And shoot it, see what happens. Again with 762 by 54R, so I'm gonna try to aim a little bit higher. Eyes and ears. Ready. Kaboom! Let me aim. Kaboom! 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 We are clear. So hit right here. Obviously exited. With the destruction actually went through the second one. Right there. Entered right here. Exited right here. Hit our uh, barely. Barely. So pretty close. Even that much of a difference in the uh, casing size. And uh, the grain, 147 and 174. Yeah, there's a bunch of difference in the weight, but not bad for the 760 by 39. Mm. I would say almost the same because it didn't have enough power to. That's why I love AK 47. That's why he loves AK 47. Now it gets me to a challenge for our third target because I want to make something that actually it's going to show the difference. Maybe we should do, uh, shoot the Kevlar's, but there's a hole in them already. Let me figure out our last target to so see you. We're getting a little bit more tactical here. This is uh, level three, I guess, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check. This is model TSG 60 ABC. Doesn't say, oh, level three. So I believe level three is supposed to stop up to 357 Magnum, if I'm not mistaken. We already have one hole in here, and then these things are compromised a little bit. You know, it's rusted, it's been sitting here. This one doesn't have a hole here, but it has impact points. We're gonna put them a little bit to an angle because we're very close. This is not angled enough. Mm. Please stay. Okay, that's good. I don't wanna be that close to this, guys. Do not do this. Do not. Let's go ahead and shoot it with the 762x54R. You're gonna have to hide right behind me and I have any sort uh, some more ammo. 762x54R. As much as that I have space, I wanna be further away as possible. Hide. Oh, you have to hide behind me. I'm gonna sacrifice myself. Right behind me, please. Eyes and ears. Ready? God damn, that's too close. I'm gonna hit it on top, so. Alright. Are you alive? We're safe. You're alive? Yep. I'm alive. Clear. Did it go 
otro. Ok, no roll here. That's the second one. Yep, that's the one. What the hell? Tengo go through? Why? You sure enough? What happened? Maybe I hit you, it doesn't matter. Where, wherever I hit it, I was supposed to. Did I hit the wood? Look at this thing. No, I actually hit the target. Did I stop this? I think I hit right here. That, that's the one. It didn't go through. It was supposed to. Level 3. Alright, time for the 762 by 39 Right there. Hide behind me, please. Let's get lucky one more time. Ready? Ready. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. That was the case. You're live? I think it's your car. <laughs> it's okay. Car is okay. As long as we're fine. <laughs> Okay, that was our 762x54R. I think this is our 762x39. So there is a hell of a dent here, but nothing here. Nada. That means it's coming that way. We're alive. Don't do this. I know, we were pretty close. We shouldn't. We had to have like at least three or four times the distance that we have as of right now. But the main thing is today we're alive as of right now, but um, and you're still watching. So if you see no more videos coming out. Bamboozle. Bam we got bamboozled. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's, uh, the Kaboom guy, the second Kaboom guy will continue. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you 